Camera settings are even more critical for shooting video than stills due to post-production editing. I asked Vince to give us a little insight into what settings he uses and why. The biggest difference for shutter speed uh, that differentiates still photography from cinematography is that you cannot really play that much with the shutter speed. Uh, it tends to be kind of locked in, in places unless you're trying to do uh, high speed or uh, you know slow speed shooting. For the most part, uh, you're a multiple of the frame rate. So in 24, you're at 1 48th of a second. So that's a very big factor to kind of keep in mind when you're going from still photography into cinematography is that one of the three factors you're used to working with is gone. Um, and now you're really working with ISO and aperture. You really have to pay a lot of attention to get your exposure and your light balance down really, really well. Um, so exposure is critical. Never ever blow out the highlights. Make sure you have a good neg, if you will, so expose it nicely. Uh, I find myself shooting at f2, 2.8, and f4 almost all the time. It's going to take something special for me to go above 4 to 5, 6, or 8, or 11, or 16. But for the most part, being able to blow out the background, isolate your subject, really gives you that more quote-unquote filmic look. And I think these cameras are absolutely perfect for that. I'm dialing in degrees Kelvin all the time, so when I work with uh, you know, certain DPs, we go down to the degree Kelvin and we go into the RGB adjustment where you can actually add a few points of cyan or magenta or yellow to get the image just right. You're going to be able to make some adjustments and give it a look, but if you make a big mistake in terms of color temperature and you want that skin tone to look right, you're going to have a lot of trouble. I think if you get the picture styles down, uh, the white balance, exposure, uh, aperture, um, and the right shutter speed, don't go above 125th uh, in shutter speed, you'll get a very staccato look. Keep an eye on your exposure at all times. Uh, don't always trust your eye. Uh, half press the shutter to see what the meter's telling you. And uh, always keep that in mind.